Pon Gang, well, welcome back to the Pon Pon Sister YouTube channel. My name is Kalia, and I am seven and a half years old. I'm about to turn eight. My braids, my mom just installed. I I like them. The weave didn't have any color. It was just like my normal hair. They're called knotless braids, so it looks like it's my hair. And my mom added this cool string decoration in it. It took like um, an hour. I love them very much. I like them because um, I feel like I can do like anything in them. Except for getting them wet. That's what I can't do with them. And I will be doing three hairstyles with my hair. I will be doing a ponytail, a bun, and another ponytail, but on the side. Please like and subscribe to our channel after. So let's get started. To start off with our knotless box braids, I will be using a pre-stretched Kaneka line braiding hair and I used a thread holder to hold each individual section that I will be adding to her braids. And we will start off by parting her hair. Her hair is already stretched and blow dried. I part her hair into large sections and I will be using the Miel Organics leave-in conditioner as her conditioner for her braids. I will be applying the Murray's Edge Wax to each section that I will be braiding to keep down the flyaways and to help me grip her edges a little bit better. I'm gonna try my best to explain how I add the extension hair the best I can. So when I am braiding, I only add extension hair with using my right hand to grab the extension and the left hand is where the extension hair is actually placed between my index finger and my thumb. And that is the only time I add the extension hair. And I start doing one piece at a time until the next rotation for me to add more hair. I only add up to three pieces to each braid. So I'm gonna slow it down a bit so you can kind of see what I mean. So as soon as I make that first rotation of the three pieces, I go to grab a new extension and then I add one side right under, right between my index finger and my thumb. I make another rotation as I'm braiding. That piece that's hanging out will then be added to my left hand only. This is the only time I add the hair is on my left hand in between my index finger and my thumb. I will continue this process grabbing the extension hair with my right hand, adding the extension hair with my left hand in between the index finger and the thumb and just braid as if, it's kind of like you're doing a corn roll except you're not adding the hair from the scalp, you're adding the hair from the extension. So it's very simple once you get the technique down. And I, like I said, I only add three pieces to each section no more than that and I try to keep the pieces of extension hair about the same thickness as her hair. I'm gonna show the process one more time um, just so you can try to see how I'm doing it because it's, it's, it's hard to explain, it really is, but I promise you it's so easy and it's not as, as difficult as it may seem.
Now I do use my pinky on my left hand to hold that other half of the hair before it is added, just to kind of keep it out of my way. Um, so that's why you see me grabbing that with that pinky out there. But um, that, that just helps me to keep that hair out of the way while I'm braiding the other side in. And then once it's its turn to be added, I'll just grab it from underneath my pinky and continue to braid it into her hair. And this is her completed look after all the braids have been done. And we will be adding gold string as one of her accessories to her braid. I use my crochet needle to bring the string through one of the braided sections, bring it through and just wrap it around the hair. Very simple, very easy. Then once I get it to the length that I want it, I just tie it off and cut off the excess string. This is some coconut oil that I picked up from Family Dollar. It's $1 for each little tube, and it does perfectly. I love the little nozzle. It does great when trying to add oil on section braids or cornrows, so I stock up on that stuff whenever I go to Family Dollar. And then I will be using the Suave Max Hold Balmanizing Mousse to add to her braids, and we will wrap it up. So not shown on camera, I do dip her the ends of her braids in hot water to seal them off so they don't unravel. And I will now hand it back over to Kalia for her three fave styles that she likes to style her braids. Thank you guys for watching. These are my three favorite ways for doing my hair. See you on our next video. And please like, comment, and subscribe.